Boys play baseball and girls play softball, right? Well, not at a local middle school where some determined teen girls are showing up on the baseball diamond. Their proud coach thinks they may be one of the only middle school girls baseball teams in the country. I stopped by Bell Middle School in Bay Terraces to meet the Bell Blazers. You ready? Stick with it, there you go. A wise coach once said, Good job. Baseball is not just about size and strength. Girls can do just as much as boys can. There you go, all the way. It is the great equalizer. Women can do anything that men can do. That coach. Good throw. Is yeah. Jim Becker, a 20-year veteran on the diamond. This program, though, is obviously a lot more than just a baseball program. It all started a year or so ago when a few girls at Bell Middle School approached their principal with a bit of a change-up. They wanted to play baseball. It's a matter of listening to student voice, getting to know the students and what they dream about and what they aspire to be. You ready? But some dreams need dollars, and America's pastime costs a pretty penny. The dream was benched until the nonprofit Anvil of Hope stepped up to the plate. We've been able to buy uniforms for them, get them practice bats, balls, helmets, everything, batting gloves, and uh, provide experiences for them. Peter Zion and his wife raised enough money to help the middle school form the Bell Blazers. We started off with about 12 girls, and now we're somewhere between 30 to 40 girls this year. Girls playing baseball is nothing new, but this team... It's the first one, maybe honestly the first one in the nation for middle school to have an all-girls baseball program. Good throw. Most girls have no experience, but some like sixth grader Marlena Zepeda have played softball. I like that I get to be out like be outside and it gives me something extra to do. Here you go. Something positive and active, helping these girls avoid errors and judgment that many of their classmates are faced with. Having to overcome the challenges of the community with drugs and alcohol and gangs. And homelessness. 17% of Bell Middle School students have no home base. Some of these girls have real challenging stories um, and, uh, and it's not all roses when they, when they leave school. This gives them a, a bit of a respite from that and gets to participate in a, a positive environment for a few hours a week. We know that they're safe. We know that they're doing something productive and being physically active. There you go. Nice. You got a good arm. Eighth grader Kanaya Howard caught me up on her situation. She's moved around a lot because her dad is in the military. So the ball team offered more than just teammates. I like that I get to hang out with friends and stuff and we just like chill and have fun. All these girls are here because they love baseball. Here we go. Coach Becker is happy to lend a hand, some instruction and some guidance to go, these girls. Go. Their ability to be tough and uh, not cry like the boys do. Well, there's is... no crying in baseball, I thought, <laughs> Exactly. <coach. laughs> and these girls, these, these girls show that every day. Hey, Tommy, so yes, ready? the girls are showing the boys they can indeed play hardball. It'll give us girls an opportunity to like show them wrong. But this team showing this go. game is the great equalizer, especially when girls who need it most are given a great opportunity. So this is more about coaching just baseball for you then? Absolutely. This is, this is, uh, our ability through baseball to reach out and to help people for sure. Here we go. All right, that's awesome. They're tough girls too out yeah, there on they the are. field. Yeah. And they're playing baseball, not softball. That's the big difference. They wanted to play the hardball. Right, which uh, as you mentioned at the beginning, that's usually what boys do. Uh, so I wonder, I mean, can they play anybody else? Well, right now they're just scrimmaging each other since they have so many girls that are interested mm -hmm. in getting 30 to 4 kids so they can play each other. But they are putting the call out to other area middle oh. schools who have girls interested to form a middle school team because they invite that competition. Mm -hmm. So they yeah. want to play other teams. So not just each other. Yeah, yeah they're exactly. all on the same team. It'd be nice to be able to compete with Absolutely. Like that. And by the way, Anvil of Hope is the nonprofit arm of Ale Smith Brewing here in San Diego, and they have another big fundraiser coming up. It's a gala on December 2nd that I'm proud to host. The link to the tickets on the web version of this story at CBS8.com. And we're also going to have the founders of Anvil of Hope on the CW San Diego during our right. 7 a.m. hour to talk more about raising money for programs like this uh, girls baseball team we saw here. That team wouldn't exist if there Absolutely. wasn't funds coming in to help them out. Community so. members stepping yeah, up to the plate to literally see. on this one. <laughs> literally. Yeah.